It's that time of the league again where Badger is getting bored. So what better way to shake it up than with a crazy farming session based completely within the 3.12 league mechanic. Running contracts over and over until we farm up enough currency to purchase that sweet, sweet chase item we all love hearing about. Welcome to Heisting for a Headhunter. Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back for another daily update on my heisting for a headhunter project. Now some of you may have been following along if you've seen the previous videos, but there is a link down below to the intro video if you wanna know what this is all about. But basically, we're just running contracts anywhere from level 68 all the way to 83, randomly, without any regal to exalt trinket or anything like that, just very, you know, uh, very budget worthy on a five link running them until we get enough currency to purchase a whole headhunter. Now, how we are accomplishing this is uh, through purchasing doctor cards and nurse cards as well. And straight off the bat, you can see here that uh, uh, we have two headhunter cards or two doctor cards, I should say. Now this has been pretty much just over two days worth of grinding and about five hours each. So there's about 10 hours worth of heisting right here. Uh, today specifically, I didn't actually do any of this because I had a, uh, another project to do. There's another video that's just brought out. So if you've seen that one, a blindfolded shaper kill, you can definitely go check that one out. Uh, but we will be continuing this uh, in a couple of days time as well. But this is a nice update for you all showing you how everything works. Um, so we basically on, on day two, so this is episode three, this is an update for day two. I can jump over to the spreadsheet now and if you wanna follow along, there is a link down below for this spreadsheet. I can jump over to this right now. We can see right here, day two uh, got uh, quite a bit of profit in a few different areas. First of all, you can see that we actually ran quite a few lock picking, which we didn't actually run any yesterday. Now lock picking, you can get currency chests and fragments chests out of these and they turned out to actually be very, very profitable this time around, which is kind of crazy. So you can see 21 chaos per run overall on these uh, lock pickings, which is pretty interesting. We didn't run any brute forces, but we ran quite a few uh, of everything else to a total of 68 runs right here. Now this does include eight grand heists. So this is 60 normal heists and eight grand heists. Uh, now, as you can see here, 448 chaos for grand heists over eight, which is pretty interesting. Putting that all together, over 11 grand heists, we made a total of 63 chaos per run, which is pretty much an exalted orb per run. Now, one important thing to keep in mind, this is revenue. So it's not profit. So I'm not actually calculating what it costs to purchase the markers and the uh, heists themselves. However, I had such a large stock pool, uh, stock pool myself of both of these things, uh, uh, just from playing the normal base game that it hasn't costed me much yet. I think I've spent about 40 chaos, but that also comes out of the whole total price of everything before we buy the doctors. Uh, so uh, we're trying to tally as much as we can just to give you an overview of what it actually looks like to just run these heists without caring about anything. Just run them. Don't worry about that uh, regal to exalt trinket or anything like that. It's very good, but to start making money, you don't need it to make money, which is pretty interesting. So a total overall revenue uh, of 2000 chaos, uh, pretty much exactly right there. Uh, but this revenue as well is calculated by Exilence Next, which is a program that basically looks at your stash tabs and tells you what is in them. Uh, so you can select certain stash tabs. So I select the stash tabs that I dump everything into at the, uh, well, at the end of every heist, basically. Now this is revenue, uh, but this is also calculating everything. So what that means is those div cards that go for one chaos, but you won't actually really sell that will sit in your stash tab forever. Uh, oils that are being overpriced and uh, lots of other smaller uh, things as well. So what that actually means is this is not the correct amount of currency. 2000 uh, currency right here is not the actual correct currency. Uh, so as I said, what we're doing is we're purchasing doctor cards. So we're converting as much as we can and purchasing doctor cards or nurse cards. So we purchased one each day. As you can see, once again, we've got the two doctor cards. So this is around about 650 chaos uh, out of each of these at the moment. So there's still uh, a fair bit to convert if I was to convert some more from these, but we can see right here, we can basically uh, say that it's it's around about one doctor per 60, 65 contracts right now, which is uh, kind of kind of insane profit, uh, which is really, really interesting. And as I said, yeah, it's about one doctor every five hours of grinding uh, or, or something like that. 
It's not your crazy, crazy, uh, you know, 10 exalts per hour that uh, some people are saying they're getting in heist with the, you know, the regal to exalt uh, trinket and blasting as fast as you can. But it's enough uh, currency just from running these without any sort of worry whatsoever. Not even uh, worrying what type we're running, what eye level we're running, what normal level we're running, all of that kind of stuff. So. Uh, that's uh, that is that is it. That's everything I do have to say there. If you like this kind of content and you want to keep following along, definitely come check me out on Twitch. There's a link down below, but it's twitch.tv slash thisisbadgergaming. Uh, we start at uh, around about 8 p.m. EDT or EST uh, every single day apart from Fridays. So come check us out. We'll be continuing this. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get that headhunter before the week is up. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, everyone. And until next time, Badger out.